Hello, I'm back. Uh, we are on our student book. We finished just the could and couldn't, can, can't. So let's review just a little bit, okay? Could, couldn't, can, can't. Could, couldn't, see? Past tense. Can, can't, it's a present. Okay, and uh, if you able ability to do something you are able to do, you use could or can. If you cannot, you it's, you are not able to do something, couldn't, can't. Okay, uh, let's see. What could you do? What could you do in the past? What couldn't you do in the past? What can you do now? What can't you do now? Okay? For example, could you speak English as a child? Could you speak English as a child? Can you speak English now? Could you cook? Can you cook? Could you drive a car? Can you drive a car? So you can use any verbs after this. For example, drive, could, play, play the piano, or um, play, speak English, speak English, or uh, read, English, anything. So, could you drive a car? Before, I could, I couldn't, I couldn't drive a car before, but I can drive a car now. Could you cook before? I could cook before and I can cook now. I could, I could play the piano, but I can't play the piano now. I couldn't speak English before, but I can speak English now. I couldn't read English before, but I can read English now. Okay, those are those were reviewed. Those are what we've learned before. Okay, now we are on a review. This review part. Uh, look at page two o student book page two o eight. Two o eight. Number one, listening. Okay, listen to this first. Review. Units 7 and 8. Page 108. Exercise 1. Track 21. Yuri works part-time at Furniture Mart. He's a salesperson. He talks to customers and helps them find good furniture at low prices. He likes his job. Yesterday, Yuri met Mr. and Mrs. Chan at the store. They wanted a new sofa and an entertainment center. Their old sofa wasn't comfortable. They looked at two sofas. The first sofa was $599. It was nice, but it wasn't very big. The second sofa was more expensive. It was $749. It was more comfortable, and it was bigger, too. The Chans bought the second sofa and two lamps, but they didn't buy the entertainment center. After work, Yuri ate dinner at China House Restaurant. Mr. Chan is the manager there. Okay, let's listen once again. Review, units seven and eight. Page 108, exercise one, 
Track 21. Yuri works part-time at Furniture Mart. He's a salesperson. He talks to customers and helps them find good furniture at low prices. He likes his job. Yet okay, let's solve the problem. Number one, what does Yuri do? He is a salesperson. Okay, keep listening. Today, Yuri met Mr. and Mrs. Chan at the store. They wanted a new sofa and an entertainment center. Their old sofa wasn't comfortable. Okay, they number two. Why did the Chans want a new sofa? Their old sofa wasn't comfortable. Okay, listen again. Customers and helps them find good furniture at low prices. He likes his job. Yesterday, Yuri met Mr. and Mrs. Chan at the store. They wanted a new sofa and an entertainment center. Their old sofa wasn't comfortable. Their old sofa wasn't comfortable. Did you hear that? Okay, next, number three. Which sofa was cheaper? Let's listen. Looked at two sofas. The first sofa was $599. It was nice, but it wasn't very big. The second sofa was more expensive. It was $749. Okay, first sofa was $599. Listen again. $199. First sofa was $599. $599. It was nice, but it wasn't very big. The second sofa was more expensive. It was $749. 749 It was more comfortable, and it was bigger, too. Okay, which sofa was cheaper? First sofa. The Chans bought the second sofa and two lamps, but they didn't buy the entertainment center. Which sofa did they buy? First sofa, okay? After work, Yuri ate dinner at China House Restaurant. Look at number six. Where did Yuri go after work? China House Restaurant B. Mr. Chan is the manager there. Okay, look at number four. Why did they like the second sofa? It was bigger and more comfortable. Number five, why did Mr. and Mrs. Chen buy? What did they buy? A sofa and two lamps. They didn't buy an entertainment center. Okay, let's listen again. Review, units seven and eight. Page 108, Exercise 1, Track 21. Yuri works part-time at Furniture Mart. He's a salesperson. He talks to customers and helps them find good furniture at low prices. He likes his job. Yesterday, Yuri met Mr. and Mrs. Chan at the store. They wanted a new sofa and an entertainment center. Their old sofa wasn't comfortable. They looked at two sofas. The first sofa was $599. It was nice, but it wasn't very big. The second sofa was more expensive. It was $749. It was more comfortable, and it was bigger, too. The Chans bought the second sofa and two lamps, but they didn't buy the entertainment center. After work, Yuri ate dinner at China House Restaurant. Mr. Chan is the manager there. Okay, so we found the answer. Number one, again, what does Yuri do? He is a salesperson. Number two, why did the Chans want a new sofa? B. Their sofa wasn't comfortable. Number three, which sofa was cheaper? 
the first sofa. Number four, why did they like the second sofa? A. It was bigger and more comfortable. Number five, what did Mr. and Mrs. Chen buy? A. A sofa and two lamps. Six, where did Yuri go after work? To a restaurant. Okay, let's move to number two. Vanessa's last job. Okay, let's find the answer first. Last year, Vanessa worked the, la the day shift at the hometown hotel. First, she went to the supply room at 8 a.m. Next, she took her car to the third floor. Then, she made the beds. After that, she cleaned the rooms and picked up dirty linens. Vanessa's job wasn't easy, but she liked it because she met a lot of nice people. Okay, let's look at B. Right, look at the answers, write the questions. Okay, let's read the answer first. Well, number one, B. Vanessa worked at the hometown hotel last year. What should be the question? Where did Vanessa work last year? Vanessa worked at the hometown hotel last year. Where did Vanessa work? That's, that's the question, okay? Number two, B. She worked the day shift. What's the question? What shift did she work? What shift did she work? Number three, B. She went to the supply room at 8 a.m. Okay, the question is, when did Vanessa, when did she go to the supply room? When did she go to the supply room? Number four, B. She took her car to the third floor. The question is, where did she take her cart. Where did she take her cart? Okay, now uh, repeat after me uh, questions and answers. Okay, where did Vanessa uh, work last year? She worked at the hometown hotel last year. Number two, what shift did she work? She worked the day shift. Number three, when did she go to the supply room? She went to the supply room at 8 a.m. Number four, where did she take her cart? She took her car to the third floor. Okay, let's move to page 109. Page 109. Page 109, that's a pronunciation. E-D. Okay. Uh, when you see, let's see. When you see ED form, there are three, three kinds of pronunciation. To, do, eat. Okay, three kinds. Okay, these are three endings for regular simple past verbs. These are three endings for regular simple past forms. To, do, eat. Okay. Now, listen to this. One hundred nine. Exercise three A. Track twenty two. Used. She used the new machine. Delivered. 
You delivered the mail. Helped. He helped the nurses. Worked. He worked on the weekends. In. Wanted. They wanted to make the beds. Assisted. She assisted the patient. Page 109. Repeat it. Exercise 3A. Repeat it. Track 22. D. Used. She used the new machine. Delivered. You delivered the mail. T. Helped. He helped the nurses. Worked. He worked on the weekends. In. Wanted. They wanted to make the beds. Mm. Assisted. She mm. assisted the patient. Okay. Now let's move to next B. Listen to this. B. Listen and repeat. Page 109. Exercise 3B. Track 23. D. Repaired. Prepared. Played. Picked. Cooked. Walked. In. Needed. Started. Visited. Okay. Page okay. 109. Do it again. Exercise 3B. Repeat it again. Track 23. D. Repaired. Prepared. Played. T. Picked. Cooked. Walked. In. Needed. Started. Visited. Okay, visited. Okay, now, uh, Let's take a break here, and then when I come back, we will continue to practice our pronunciation, okay? Thank you.